you know, I love playing. I love playing center field, and I worked really, really hard because, you know, I was a first-round draft choice as a shortstop, so I had to I had to learn how to play. I'll never forget the very first game I played. Uh, Chuck Tanner was my manager. It was a ground ball that was hit uh, towards George Order in the infield. I ran in front of Bucky Dent over near George Order trying to fill the ground ball. The next day he came to me and said, Chuck, he said, Mr. Lemon, come in. He said, you see center field? I said, yes, sir. He says, 40 and 45 feet out there. I said, yes, sir. He said, I want you to take uh, five balls every day, uh, 100 fly balls every day. So I, I never looked back, and I've played center field ever since. And uh, so I know it's a lot of hard work, and to play a center field like this would be a, a dream because it's such a big ballpark. You know, you just love the wrong ball in the place. And you look at the walls ideal. to see where maybe your glove could go over the walls? Yes, yeah, so I can jump over and kiss some more balls. You know that. The one of uh, California, yeah. Yeah, the catch. Is that the one you remember most? Here? Well, because Against it got the Peru. most publicity, and I think the reason why it got more publicity because I think I made greater catches, yeah. but I think it got more play because we were chasing the Baltimore Orioles. Remember, that yeah. was 83 when yeah. we were chasing Baltimore, and Baltimore was only, we finished that year one game behind Baltimore, you remember? But uh, we were on a, the last game of a road trip in California. And we needed to win that game just to keep up with the Warriors. Yeah. That was and left center against yeah, Carew. Yeah, just Ryan Carew. So, he talks about it all the time. He so sent more messages. Seen, yeah, so you probably have seen Austin Jackson make Yes. Yeah, you yes, look sir. at him and say, hey, that's what He's I used to do. He's a great center fielder. Yes, yeah, great, great center fielder and just a, a joy to watch play. You know, he covers a lot of ground. He covers a lot of ground out there. So. But so when he goes above the wall, do you think, I used to do yeah, that. Yeah, but you know, it's a lot of guys now. I mean, it wasn't as prevalent. I don't remember it being as prevalent when I was doing it as it is now. Now you see guys that are making some plays that are just phenomenal plays. You don't know how they did it, you know. But uh, it's, uh, it's a joy to see whenever anybody takes great pride in outfield play. Because, you know, the game is so, has always been so offensive-oriented that you get more play for your offense than you do for your defense. And to see guys take pride in, in playing and being great defensive players is obviously a joy, especially in the outfield more than anywhere else because you, you don't see a lot of guys that put the time in and be great outfielders like you used to. So it's good to see.